Hi guys. So yes, they're coming for me. They're coming for you. They're coming for those who love God, for those who are on fire for God. And the question is, who is coming? So I, a few days ago, I see, um, a few days ago, I was doing my stuff and I saw spirits of religion, like the whole group of spirits of religion. And sometimes I see them in two ways. I see them either like old uh, woman, religious woman. Uh, it's usually this kind of woman. I saw them in Orthodox churches. So and this is how God shows me spirit of religion, like old woman or uh, like those popes from Orthodox church. This is how, you know, I knew that this is spirit of religion. So I saw the whole group, not one or two or even more, the whole group of spirits of religion. They are released, okay? They are loose. And they're after people of God. They're after, um, what happens is a lot of people don't have relationship, relationships with Jesus. They don't have personal relationships, right? So they know Bible by heart, that, but they don't know God. They don't know the ways of God. They don't know how, you know, who the God is. And so when they don't understand, they go and attack, they go and oppress. Okay? The enemy comes to kill, to steal, to destroy. Spirits of religion are wicked, evil spirits. So how can they attack you when the enemy cannot put you in sin? When the enemy cannot make you do something evil? When the enemy cannot touch you physically because there is a hedge of protection around you? So what they do, they put other people against you to offend you, to make videos about you, to do evil. Okay? Uh, there are times when God will personally tell you, go and make a video about this person exposed because we're supposed to expose the darkness so when god is personally telling you you need to speak against that man or he shows you for example that person is not of you me and he is lying it is okay to go and say what god is telling you but there are people who god never told there are people who do not know god they don't know his ways so when they don't understand they just go and attack everybody they attack false prophets, they attack real prophets, they attack like many, many people. And even now, as you see, for example, I know someone, I'm not advertising, but I know, uh, I used to watch before Isaiah Saldivar, okay? And I know that men is of God. We all uh, can make mistakes. We are all not perfect. I'm not saying he's perfect and I'm not saying I'm watching him. I used to, when I was baby Christian, I used to see some videos of him. I know he's a man of God, I know. I don't say he's perfect, but I know he's of God. And there are a lot of videos exposing him and, you know, really speaking, a lot of people speaking evil against him, ill against him, which is not true, okay? And because that person is of God. There, uh, another person is Marcus Rogers, he's of God. I am telling you he's of God, but there are a lot of people who speak against him and calling him different things. These people are operating by the spirits of religion and I also saw vision of snake. So lion spirits, snakes are lion spirits, lion spirits with the spirits of religion. So I saw the whole group, the whole bunch of spirits of religion on the loose and god told me today okay i saw it a few days ago but today he's saying get ready they're coming after you and then i saw them making videos about me like exposing me uh you know how they usually do it. they usually do it in a very very bad way when they expose someone uh, they do it ironically they are mocking that person you know they're laughing at that person god is like get ready he he warned me from before so i don't know how soon uh that i will have to you know I, I will expect the video about me but i don't care i don't care god is good at all times you see uh jesus was killed by pharisees and god was telling me today pharisees like pharisees are going after you spirits of religion people are pharisees and they operate by spirit of th those people uh they operate by spirit of religion so they're not just going after me only they are going against they will go against many people because persecution is coming how jesus was persecuted he was not persecuted by atheists he was persecuted by religious leaders that's what 
you know, it's, it's going to be happening more and more in the church and the body of Christ. Because, as I said, when the enemy cannot touch you, he will try to discourage you. And this message is not just for me. This message is, uh, I'm sure those who watch me, uh, some of you, you have your own channels, okay? You have your own things. And one day, we will all go through this. Maybe not all of us, but most of us, we will go through this. We will go because Jesus went through this. And the times change, but the history repeats itself. So, again, if, someone, if God is telling you to expose someone, it is okay and you should do this. But it is a bad thing when someone does not understand something, does not have revelation from God, does not have personal relationships with God, and he's like, and the spirit of religion is telling him because, you know, uh, sometimes people say, think you, uh, some people think that they cannot hear enemy. Oh, you can hear enemy. You can hear devil. You, it might not be audible voice, but it might be thoughts. Usually you have strange thoughts, so enemy can give you the thoughts. So, lying spirits mixed with spirits of religion. Ooh. Yeah. So we will be persecuted. And we need to have thick skin. We need to have understanding that, you know, we, we cannot be discouraged. Um, that's what they're trying to do, to bring offenses and discouragement in the church and the body of Christ. Actually, I did not expect, you know, for me to happen. I knew it would happen, but I did not ex expect it to happen, you know, so early because I don't even have 2000 people, you know, subscribed. I, am, I have a very small channel. But God told me to expect the exposure. Yes, and you know, when God is elevating a person, always when the person is elevated, it comes with persecution. The enemy will try to discourage you. The enemy will try to persecute you. And this is what's going to be. So stay blessed. Stay strong in the Lord. And God bless you. And I had to add... Uh, I had to add this to that. And uh, after I finished the video, the Lord um, reminded me, he also said jealousy, that there will be people going after us, after me, and after people of God, because they will be jealous, okay? There is already jealousy against the church and against the body of Christ. And um, also, a lot of people will not get wealth transfer. And I'm telling you, um, there will be jealousy and there will be attacks from religious spirits, from Pharisees and from jealous people. So, and personally against me, there will be, you know, attacks because of jealousy. But it's okay. God bless you.